Hey guys, thank you once again for tuning in to Grooming by Rudy. Uh, Anthony and I had an opportunity to show you yet another little puppy video here. Um, this is our little puppy Shih Tzu. This is about her third time with us and already she's making some incredible progress. Um, but nevertheless, what's notorious with Shih Tzus is they generally do not like anything being uh, clipped under their eyes. So that's always usually the challenge with this particular breed. Um, but we are working hard at it. Uh, we were able to get some out last time and we're gonna try to do it again this time. Ultimately, I like to do it with the clippers, uh, but uh, we're really uh, not there yet with her. Uh, so, but we're going to reintroduce the sounds of the clippers as you saw in our last uh, puppy video with Oreo, where with every grooming, we're always kind of doing the, the clipper work um, as we showed you in the Oreo video. So we're just kind of gonna do that with all the groomings. Um, although they're keeping her long and the owners are doing a phenomenal job keeping her brushed out, um, just in case they ever want to put her in a haircut or you know she may develop a map behind her ear we're still getting her used to the clipper sound and we still need to clip her rear and her pads so we're just doing all of all of this reinforcement and uh, nothing hurts kind of thing what a good girl what a good girl and short and sweet we'll turn them off we're done with that okay um so now we're gonna to try to get to her face here. And again, uh, what we find with Shih Tzus is they generally uh, do not like uh, anything under their eyes. So we have to be very, very careful. You can see she's already pulling away. Um, so and what happens is you get a lot, of, I don't know if you can see this, it's okay, mama. You can see all this wetness. Uh, they start to tear a lot because what happens is this hair starts poking the eye and starts poking the, the, the little tear duct causing them to tear. So it's very important that we try our best to get as much of that out. I'm just gonna kinda get her used to a quick little brush around the eye, just to let her know that we are going to be working on the eye. So she may jump, guys. Um, it may look like a, a little jarring, uh, but again, we're gonna try to get this out. All right, so we'll make a little Clearing there. Okay, mama. Good girl. Stay. Stay, mama. Stay. 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 Oh, stay, mama. Good girl. And little snips like that. Stay, mama. Stay. Oh, good girl. Stay. Stay. Good girl. Stay. You can see her pulling away, so it is a bit of a challenge. Stay. And I'm kind of, I'm not grabbing her neck or anything. I'm just kind of holding her by her fur. And you can see what I, what I did there was, I kind of placed the thinning shear on there and then did these little, these little snips. The left side of her face is always much easier uh, because I'm right-handed. So this other side is always a bit more of a challenge. So we're going to try to position her and get underneath here and just pull away. Good girl, mama try to get as much as we can without losing her attention. Good girl. Now this is the challenging thing. Oh, it's okay. On her jumping, trying to get in there. Oh, good girl. Oh, good girl, sweetheart. Oh, you're an angel. And again, this is, this is uh, like our, our, uh, I think our third or fourth attempt, so stay mama. She really wasn't letting us get much at all the first couple of ones, so it's really a lot of progress. Good girl, stay mama. Good girl. I'm, I'm gonna try to do as much as I can, but to be honest, we kind of, we kind of got so much done right there that even if we left it as that it's just complete progress and you you know she could see how uh you know how she's taking to it because again guys this is all all trust issue we, we have to really gain these puppies trust and 
Um, and, and the one way to lose their trust immediately is to hurt them. If you, if you hurt the dog, you're going to lose their trust. So um, we're almost uh, kind of there, I think. I don't really want to push the issue because, again, next time, uh, you know, she'll let us get a little further. Maybe I'll just grab a little bit of this stuff over her eyes. But you could, you, you could see a big difference right there. Um, we're, we're getting all of that. No <laughs> good girl, mama. You know you're on camera? You're a star. You're doing so good. I love you. I love you. You're too sweet. Yeah, so, you know, we already got that, that wispy hair that was poking her in the eye. So that's just going to help a lot. And what we're going to do is, it's okay, mama, stay, stay. We're going to um, give her a bath and uh, be able to even clear more of that out. But you can see how, you know, we're, we, we got it out just with those few little snips of the thinning shears. Um, again, guys, this is a puppy, takes time. This is only her third time here, but she's doing incredibly well. Um, these Shih Tzus are very, very sweet dogs. Uh, I haven't met one, though, that really doesn't kind of hate under the eyes, because they're scared. You're right by their eye. Uh, you know, you're coming at them with this piece of metal. Um, so it's, it's, it's scary to them, but you know, you can let them smell it. You smell that? And you know, once, once you uh, get them used to it though, they really uh, start to accept it. But we're gonna leave it just like that. We're gonna clean out the rest in the tub and we're gonna go over it again. But just wanted to show you how it's done. And again, as we always say, less is always more with these uh, with the puppies. You really want to go slowly. Um, let the groomer uh, have a few tries at it. A uh, few groomings, uh, it, it, sometimes it takes even longer than that. It can take a year. Um, but if you have a groomer out there that's willing to work with your puppy and take things slowly, uh, in our opinion, it's always the best thing to do. Guys, thanks again for tuning in to Grooming by Rudy. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram. Check out our radio show. It's called Groomer Humor on Pet Life Radio. We'll leave that link down below. Guys, on behalf of Anthony and I, thank you very much. Give it up for the puppy.